So they're going to talk about the Open Door Challenge. You know, many people ask for assistance. Many people restrict themselves from receiving assistance. Many individuals want to reach out, but they stay trapped behind the closed doors. Okay? And, you know, I remain an open door to everybody. Okay? You have any questions about me? I don't hide anything. I'm more open than anybody you probably know. Okay? And the, the reason why that is is because, you know, you can never progress anywhere if you hide who you are. You know, a lot of individuals, they, they hide themselves because they're afraid of what others are going to think. They hide themselves from their employers because they think that they're not good enough and they're not going to be up to the expectations. You know, but unless you release yourself and you open the door of who you are, you're, you're not going to be able to open doors to the places that you want to go. Okay, so, you know, a lot of individuals, they stay confined in themselves. They're never able to be who they want to be because of the confines of another individual. Okay, so... You know, the open door challenge, you know, many individuals say, well, hey, I want to be here, I want to go there. Well, you got to start opening doors, period, regardless of what it is, okay? If you're afraid to open a door if it's on the other side because things are foreign to you, you know, take your time and do so. You know, go peek out the blinds or something, but you're going to have to do something to, you know, accept that and understand that, hey, I'm going to have to go beyond this door if I want to travel that road that lies beyond, okay? So... You know, if, if sometimes you have to do it by force to where, hey, this is where I want to be, but hey, I'm, I'm kind of being held back from this, sometimes you just got to force your way through there, okay? If somebody's holding you back to where you're just confined in the door, give me a call, I'll kick the motherfucker in, okay? I will release you, you know, and when, when you actually study yourself and you actually get to find yourself, you're going to find the opportunities that have always been there for you. The only reason that they were closed is because you never opened the door. Okay, so, you know, when you find yourself sometimes consolidated or confined, rather, and you don't know where it is you want to go, you have to look in yourself to find out, you know, what things that you used to be interested in that have been taken from you. What things would have you liked to have tried, but you've never had the opportunity to go and try. You know, then you have to look at the restrictions. Hey, is it because of money? Is it because of people? Is it because of this, that, and the other? Okay, and once you find out what the restriction is, you need to make that decision to remove that or to leave it there. Okay, and if you continue to make the decision to leave that restriction there, you might as well keep the fucking door closed. You're, you're never going to progress forward. Okay, so, you know, in order to open the door, you know, you first have to make the, the grasp on it and make the uh, opportunity happen. Okay, if you don't do that, then stay confined. You know, don't tell other people, hey, I have these dreams, I have these dreams, I have these dreams, this is where I want to be, but you don't open your own door. You know, it isn't, in order to open another door, sometimes you have to open yourself up, okay? Hey, this is who I am, so individuals are trying to boost you to that door, thinking that you can handle certain things or that you're able to, you know, handle anything that may come your way. You can handle what the responsibilities are and you can handle the actual roadblocks that may be in your way, okay? So you, you have to open yourself with who you truly are. You know, it's like individuals that are in recovery, individuals that are trying to start a business, individuals that are just in personal, you know, disaster. If you're, if you're not honest with the individuals that are reaching out to you to provide you that open door or to kick your fucking door open so you can get out, you, you're still going to remain confined. So it's a two-way mirror there. You either you have to open a door to yourself to so other individuals that are trying to give you the assistance can, you know, find their way in there, kind of find out what's going to be most beneficial to you. You know, and again, not everybody's way is going to be your means. But if somebody can't understand who you are, the things you want to be, the things you can't already do, and the things that you want to learn how to do, and then provide you that guidance as such, that door has to be opened, okay? And as soon as you open your own door, you're going to see so many other doors that, you know, become available to you, okay? So, and some, door, some doors you're just going to have to kick in. Okay, because there's going to be restrictions of, you know, past hesitations, past traumas, past anything that you may be storing in you, to where sometimes you just have to force your way through that door. Hey, I'm going to try this regardless. I don't care what's on the other side. Okay? And if you guys need any assistance, I'm a professional door kicker. Give me a call, 727-415-2308-833, here 24-7, 833-437-3247. I love you guys. You have a blessed day.